the future of Audi electric vehicles. We have it here for you in the studio today with Thomas and Auto Gefühl. It's the A6 Sportback e-tron and the A6 Avant e-tron. So the estate and the sedan or Sportback, Fastback. We'll soon take a look at that and we have a nice light show here in the front for you as well. This is here for show purposes, but we can also see the new design with really, really slim headlamps, closed front grille, illuminated Audi rings in the US. That's allowed. They are also working for that to be allowed in Europe, actually. But a very sleek and closed, elegant design, sporty and yet elegant indeed. And to be more specific in the top part, this is like the beauty LED for signature and for some yeah, joy, uh, joy moves. And then the lower part here, this is then the main headlamp unit, this digital matrix LED. It can do projections on the ground or also against the wall, um, show assistance systems features, for example. And then as an additional element, they also have small projectors in here, which can, for example, also project the turning indicators on the ground in a yeah, so you even more fancy way. What do you think about this? Um, should this become actually then reality? Also here at the side, you can see, first of all, 22 inch wheels. Of course, smaller ones will be available. And then you have the digital mirrors. These are the cameras. We already know them from the first e-tron SUV model. There will also be standard ones available because also not in all markets it's allowed yet actually. And here you can see this very sleek roof line for the Sportback version. They will call it Audi A6 Sportback and not Audi A7 e-tron or something. Um, you can discuss that surely, but they really want to say like, hey, that's the new electric A6 family. And that's why this is then also the A6 Sportback e-tron. Very interesting, very strong shoulder area here. And you can see that the rear lamps kind of already begin at the side. And this will indeed have, a, you know, this fastback hatch, which will open like this. So not a closed or small sedan trunk. Very interesting. Actually, they see that in the US also the A7 becomes more popular in comparison to the A6. And they project for the future that this body version will also be more popular than in the US. So they probably will only bring an A6 electric sedan in China and not on the rest of the markets. Here in the rear, you can see the cool light strip. Can we have some more light show in the rear? <laughs> and here also then the, the Audi rings. Once again, if it will be allowed on all markets, this remains yet to be clear. But I think that's really stunning, isn't it? And, and once again, I think the best thing is that their design is super clean. Also here with this rear diffuser side, aerodynamics, of course, play a great role. And you might think like, ah, okay, it's a very early version, it will not look like this, you know, in reality. Yes, it will. They will look like this. This is like 95%. Not with the interior yet, but here on the exterior, these cars will look like this. And that's, of course, really cool. They look kind of like concept cars. Yeah, but they're kind of not design-wise, you know. Here, once again, the Estate, the Avant version, being shown for the very first time today. And here we can also see there's a very similar design element here. But, wow, I mean, yeah, this might be the 5% that is not that realistic. Maybe it will be a little bit slimmer but different diffuser style in here for the rear. But for an estate, this also looks again really sleek, contrasting. Here you can see how the, how the wind is being channeled and here with the, how the air is being channeled right there. So definitely a very sexy estate. If you guys from the US also want to ha have the estate in your market, you need to use the comments that Audi can read that because so far I heard it's not exactly planned that they bring it to the US as well. More a European model. However, at the moment, they sell the A6 All-Road on the American market, and that's actually quite successful. So, yeah, why not going for this one as well? Yeah, once again, here in the side profile, I'll make a clean way for that. Wow, this looks really stunning, doesn't it? Length, by the way, 4 meters 96 or 195 inches, so kind of like this full-size sedan or estate market. Battery size, this will be fitted all the way here in that long wheelbase, around 100 kilowatt hours net. And there will be some smaller entry-level batteries to bring the price also a little bit down. And either rear-wheel drive, then acceleration under seven seconds, or all-wheel drive, one electric motor in the rear, one in the front, then the acceleration will be less than four seconds. That's, of course, pretty quick then already. Let's take a look here in the front for the Estate or for the Avant model. 
really love also how the hood is cut in completely. And once again, the very sleek design. One more time, the light flow maybe here in the front also for the estate. Yeah, that, that looks really cool. That can be, for example, also like a welcoming and um, goodbye signature when you open or, or close the vehicle. So um, yeah, pretty stunning. And some more technology background. This will be built on the so-called PPE platform. It's an all new electric platform in the Volkswagen Group. And Audi is leaning, uh, is leading this development, and Porsche is getting, you know, kind of getting the hook of it. So before, with the Porsche Taycan, the J1 pro platform, and the Audi e-tron GT, it was the other way around. Porsche was leading the platform development, then Audi got onto it, and here other way around. So this will be on that. The new Audi Q6 e-tron, this all-electric SUV, will be on the PPE platform, and then also the new electric Porsche models will be using this platform and. You can see very long wheelbase, then housing these bigger batteries. That's actually what this platform is about. And of course, and also really great stiffness. We also have them here, the two different colors for you today. Looking forward to your comments. What do you think here about the design? Would you pick the Estate or would you pick the Sportback? And would you also prefer a normal sedan or electric? Or would you already go rather for this Sportback form? I mean, here also from the, from the distance here in this you know, three quarter view, this looks really stunning. I really have to say this time also that the, um, <coughs> yeah, the, the digital mirrors, the cameras, they look really cool. They fit to the vehicles. Although from my experience, I do prefer to have the normal mirror just, you know, from a usability end. You see, when you look to a mirror, you see, oh, that's reality. But when you look to a screen, then it's more like, nah, is that really happening at the moment? Just now from the psychological um, relation. Yeah, once again, here the side profile. This is probably the, the sexiest thing then here about the estate. Charging the 800 volt charging infrastructure from the Audi e-tron GT or the Porsche Taycan. And that means 270 kilowatt DC charging is maximum. And then you get five to 80% state of charge in about 20 or less than 25 minutes. And here, for example, you also have a so-called charging light that you can basically see from the outside. Something is happening, it's charging. and yeah, it's a nice, joyful element for sure. And now we have turned off the lights to give you a dark scene here. Once again, then the lights and just look even cooler, of course, and also with the Audi rings. And you want to see light show one more time, guys? <laughs> because it's, it's just fancy, you know? So there we go. Ooh, now you can even better see that. And also here in the rear of the estate of the Avant, this you know, kind of like crystalline look, you know, with these small triangles. Ooh. Well, I think we can play with this all night basically, but now let's turn on the light again. <laughs> mm, what about the interior? Thomas, why aren't you showing that to us today? Well, of course, you know that interiors are my specialty and I love to be in, inside there. However, this interior is not finished yet. It's basically closed off. It will also look different than what you, you know, can take a glimpse from the outside at this moment here through the glass. So as soon as this is ready, we'll keep you updated also with the interior of these two vehicles. So subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't done so far. Both vehicles, of course, will feature adaptive air suspension. And, well, what range can we expect? You know, here at Autogefühl, we do not say the official figures because most of the time they are exaggerated. They are just after the, these standardized cycles. So what we do expect is somewhat 600 kilometers or 400 miles in good conditions when you have this 100 kilowatt hour battery net. So what do you think? Leave me your comments here to the A6 Avant e-tron and the A6 Sportback e-tron. Yeah, I got that in the right order now, right? Yeah, and of course, also tune into the competitor models. For example, the Mercedes EQE or the EQS, depending on the size, but these ones are already available at Mercedes.